GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 10 series of my generic brand Galaxy Scenario. We did the Alien Start Planet, and we are now on, well, we're in the orbit of Aqua, spawned in the Evolved Camel Shack, which is a multiplayer version that I built, and it was it was only at version Alpha Seven, I believe. So I had to like install lots of stuff. I had to rip out stuff, install stuff. So now we've got it up to Alpha Ten um, standards. So I'll just take you on a quick tour here. So here's the little cafe. This is just the garden cafe. There's there's uh, the garden on either side. One is going to be for food production. One's going to be for medical production. This is the medical facility here with all the stuff that we need. Um, now this currently, I put in all the um, deco up to size five just about size six just one more piece of deco and it flips to size six and then it wouldn't be viable for a bunch of servers to spawn in so here's the bridge yeah it's a little scarce but like i say i can't fit any more blocks on this thing or else it changes to a class six so we've got um this bridge here and there's a, the second bridge was the functional bridge that it has when you spawn it in at the back. So we've got constructor constructor room with a couple of, um, a little bit of equipment in it. Uh, like I say, we can't put any more in until we take a blueprint of this. Because I'm going to blueprint it at class 5 with it all pretty much ready. The only thing it needs now is weapons. So let's go into the... Oh, here, turn this on. And actually, here, we'll just stay in first person. And uh, go down, show you guys. So I painted it. Um, we've got... Oh, I guess I'll show you. I'll show you what the paint scheme looks like. So it's kind of a, it's, well, it's green with like white highlighting and racing stripes, <laughs> basically. So yeah, there she is. But she does need all the weapons installed at this point, so... I did cook up a whole bunch. Unfortunately, we ran out of Zascosium again. And we need a whole bunch more to... Zascosium and a restroom, actually. But yeah, she's looking pretty good. She's looking pretty good. Um, so we put, we'll be putting some turrets on her. And then we got to go take put uh, drills on the other CV because we're going to upgrade that. And we're going to pop the drill off it and move it to this one. We do have a bunch of weapons to put on. So here, I'll show you the... I mean, there's the, the shield. Don't know what to do with this area yet. Uh, don't want to spend any more blocks, obviously, or else... This goes to the outside here. But it also... This is the second... Um, yeah, I had to start removing blocks, so I did have a bunch in here, more stuff in here, but I, I didn't make it really sparse to get it down to, I had it actually over class six without realizing it, and then I had to go and remove some blocks, so there you have it. Um, oh, I forgot to show you guys the crew quarters.
so I got the crew quarters pretty close to done. I mean, about as much as I want. Now, where are they? In here, right? Yeah, here we go. So, we got a little lounge area here. And then this leads to the bathrooms. Got some basic bathrooms. Don't have any deco decoration, much decoration yet. I mean, deco, yeah, but in the way of actually putting blocks in to to stylize it and put shapes in and stuff, I I don't have the uh, luxury yet. So here's some crew quarters, uh, sleeping barracks, I guess you could call it. Um, and then on this side is the captain's quarters, of course. So captain gets his own, you know, private area with uh, with his own bathroom, of course. And I was going to put my own little bar in, but because I'm like right here, it just didn't make any sense, right? So, <laughs> but well, you never know. Maybe a little mini bar or something. Um, yeah, so there we go, crew quarters, so now we just got to get the weapons in, oh yeah, I have, I still got to do the engineering, right, so engineering is not done yet, but we don't have the block space, because when you look at it, we're at 5.5, one more, and it flips to class 6. So let's go blueprint this thing. Then we can start putting stuff on it again. So let's, uh, let's go to the front of it here. I did blueprint it once, but it was at uh, class 6, and that's when I realized it's like, oh, Oh, whoops. <laughs> what do you mean it's red? Okay, so let's get a good picture without too much of the base below it in the picture, I think. Maybe a, an angled. And I haven't made the aileron, the connectors for the ailerons either, so it's not, it's not ready. But it's at class five now, so let's take a picture of it, and we'll uh, here get rid of all that. I should, you know what? I'm just gonna move it. I'm gonna move it really quick. Just head on up and. Use this cockpit. And we'll just zoom out, give it some thrust. Okay, so let's just move it. Um, I'm way zoomed out. Way, way, way zoomed out. That's okay. So there we, we have it. That's what it looks like. Not too bad. I got to get the guns on it. Uh, obviously, we got to get the sensors on it for the ramps and, and the doors uh, and all the lights and, and stuff. And then we got to get some switches and all the logic done for the switches. So we still got a bunch of work to do, but it's coming along pretty good, I think. Um, it should be ready pretty quick. We just got to the weapons on it and I think I need to build those uh, what do you call it the um, the nacelle connectors and to put some RCS in okay so what do we want we want the planets in behind right yeah so let's let's level off Okay, let's go take a picture. 
Let's go take a picture. So it's really not a, it's not like a massive CV, but because it, it hit level five, class five, and just about class, it's just on the verge of class six. Um, it's at a usable state without any weapons, basically, is what it's at. So we're going to blueprint this. all the markings so we'll blueprint this we'll just overwrite the existing one and it should dummy it down see that the existing one was just a tad over okay so now let's go into our and there we go it's just, just small enough. Um, not a big difference between the two, actually. But this one's, this one's way has way more work done to it to get it up to to uh, alpha ten. So now it needs all the stuff, the rest of the stuff. Now that we've uh, captured its blueprint, we can pretty much evolve it. To, to getting it finished so let's move let's just do that much easier to walk around instead of float around okay so let's head back over here and yeah, so it is a little bigger than our other CV <laughs> Our other CV might actually be able to fly through the, uh, you know what? We should try it. I wonder if our other CV could actually fly through this thing's um, hangar bay. That'd be kind of crazy. We can try that later. Anyway, let's just get over top the base here. Go back a bit so that the gangway is drops me into oxygen. Okay, close enough. There we go. Okay, so there we should level off. And turn off the engines. Okay. Does not look that bad. It's real boxy at the at the back. We might actually flare that out. I think I'm probably going to flare that out and add some more engines to the back and make it look a little less boxy back there. I don't really like how the hangar is so boxy looking. But uh, I like the rest of the lines. It looks good uh, looking down at it. Okay, so we've got to get more gear on so let's do this okay oops so I really want to get the some basic weaponry going on here so let's take the drill off this so we've got some new drills coming on so let's let's connect to our base blocks and you can see we've got um, 
Okay, where's my... Get our bar back. Um, grab that. What else are we going to... You know what? We might as well grab all those. We've got 12 projectile turrets to put on. we got an artillery turret. Um, and then... Well, seven rocket turrets. It's not bad. We don't have the mats to make anymore. So, yeah. Okay. First of all, we need to pop this off. So, let's grab it. Because this one we're going to put on the big CV. Because the big CV is not going to drill very often. It'll... It'll have it on there for, you know, basically completionist <laughs> sake. Um, okay, so this, we got to outfit with drills. How are we going to do that? How are we going to do that without getting all screwed up? How are we going to do that? Okay, let's take a look. You know, what if we, what if we do something crazy like we, like really close? So we do that. That. And that. We'll put proper blocks in to connect that at the back. And then same thing right here. Yeah. Do we even need that one? Yeah, we do. I'd like to, um, you know, we could potentially just stick six in a row like that. Come right out. Nah, let's, let's work this in. So, okay. This isn't on right now, is it? No. Doesn't matter. What I want to do then is I want to... So we made an extra one. Too many? Hmm. You know what? We'll, we'll pop this gun off. We'll pop this gun off. find a different spot for that. We're going to put our drill here instead. Okay. I mean, I guess I could put the uh, mount the the gun underneath the drill. I don't think the, I don't think it would sit high enough though. It would probably get all jammed up. Okay, so now what we need is, I think we had some combat steel. Yeah, not many. Okay, that's fine. What we can do is we can figure out, here, let's, let's make this look better. Those ones are going to be easier. They're just going to be straight blocks, I mean, for the most part. Do the 
top and bottom one. So let's let's fix that. Oh, this isn't combat steel, is it? Oh, actually, it is. This is where the cockpit is. So this will be all enhanced. Okay. And then... Should we just run it straight in like that? Yeah, why not? Go like this. Pop this. And just... that and then uh, we'll pull it back we might have to uh, fine for now. Okay, let's just paint it really quick. Texture and paint. Something very rudimentary. So it's going to be that, and we'll just match it up with what it had. Well, let's do the um, full block. Okay. There we have it. We've went from a level 5 CV to a level 25 CV. <laughs> the camel, the little camel shack here has evolved up to level 25 and the one above it is still only level 20. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Okay, so there we go. That This will kick ass for drilling now, big time. Big time. Let's take that drill. And what I want to do with the stuff that doesn't work in atmosphere on the CVs, on this I want to make... Um, here, let's turn off the oxygen for starters. Because what I want to do is we're going to put some turrets in. And this guy's a big one. Look at how big he is. Holy crap. I want to make the atmospheric turrets work all the time. And I'm just going to leave them uh, non-retractable. They're just going to sit out on the armor. But the... The stuff that does not work in atmosphere, I want to have them retractable. So we're going to be doing this stuff. So I need to pop out these. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we got to get rid of this, basically most of the roof of this. That's okay. That's okay. And then... Get this popped in. So... Oh, you know what it's doing? It's doing the stupid... Turn the frickin' shield off. Stop it already. Thank you. Like, what's its problem? Whoa, what? It's double thickness? Did you see that? It's double thickness. Oh, crap. I don't... I wasn't actually expecting it to be double thickness like that. 
Uh. Well, okay, I guess we're going to have an exposed one then, because I don't want that. So, uh, that's interesting. That was interesting. I did not know. I. Oh, well, that's fine. We'll just cover this up really quick. No harm, no foul. A little bit of texturing, oh well. Okay, so that, and it was actually that, that. Oops. that okay well I guess we're just putting the turret on the way it is like that a little lame but oh well the only spot that made sense for it being a 5x5 five five. <sighs> okay so let's make sure we have all the turrets off now here this is where I'm hoping I know the drill turret has a huge reach so I think I think what I want to do is because it too is um, airtight true multi turret and airtight true okay so I want to do okay so it's just one thick like a, okay good so let's pop these blocks off wow this is like a hidden unused area bulkhead extra bulkhead space look at it wow have some <laughs> glitched out blocks that should misplace blocks that I never picked up. That's kind of cool. I didn't know I had this little look at that two misplaced blocks there. That's weird. Um, I did not know I had this little hollow cavity. That's trippy. That's trippy. I wonder if we can turn that into something somehow or access it somehow. I don't know where it comes out to, the, the engine room. Oh well. For now, it's getting turned into a turret. A tool turret to be. Well, a drill. Is this, the, this is the drill, isn't it? Drill turret. Yep. So there we go, right there. Okay. So there we go, we've got a drill turret we can actually drill up some resources with. Um, the other turrets, we're going to put a couple of just cannon turrets, just straight up cannon turrets. We're not going to make them retractable because they're going to be out all the freaking time for, for the most part, so what's the point? Okay, so we got two there. We can do two more at the front here. All right? No? Can we not? Oh, we have. We have some blocks causing a problem. Look at that. We have 
which block is it? It is that one. That's simple enough. Is it that one or is it more than that one? Let's see. And there we go, it fits now. Okay. So that is cannon turret. So one there. And oh, one there. Okay, we've got some cannon turrets on the front of it. Good. And then. Should have some cannon turrets at the back of it. We've got the nacelles to put turrets on too. Like they'll fit just perfectly. Like we can fit a, a heap of them on the nacelles. Um, but I do want something at the back here. Do we want it right like that or like that? Like that. Like that or like that. Or off the off the white all together on the green. No, because then it can't shoot over to the side. Uh, oh, you know what? That looks okay like that. Let's do that. There we go. Okay, two at the back. So that is six. That's half of our half of our turrets that function in the atmosphere. We need some shooting down. So we need Yep, we're going to need them like this. Oh, you know what I should do? If I want them facing down, I should put them on this side, kind of protected, right? There's lots of, lots of space on this thing for turrets, really. I could keep everything off the nacelles and try and just place it all on the hull of the ship. Hmm. That's not a bad idea either. That's not a bad idea too. So if we, if we did like there, there there how many do I got left I've got five I'd have six if I pop these off or should I put that one like here <laughs> Uh, the only problem is, is the nacelle connector it won't be able to fire forward. Uh, we'll have it. We'll have it on the outside. You know what? That's fine. And I, like I say, I could do the retractable on these, but I want to do the. Let's 
It's definitely looking more mean with turrets on it. Um, I don't want to do the retractable ones for the ones that are going to be out all the time. Like the uh, cannon turrets. I, I, I'd, I'd rather have the armor, the hull plating underneath it stay intact if it blows up. So, yeah. Okay. There. And there. Because I'm thinking all the missiles will work along the other parts here. Missiles and lasers when I get lasers. Banks of lasers along the top here. That can be kind of scary. Okay, we've got two left. I'm not really sure where to what to do with them though. We've got our ones facing down. Do we need more? Do we need more? At the back, or do we need more? I'm not really sure where to put it now. Ooh, we could put some. Can we fit up here? Not really. No. <laughs> um, hmm. front right there you know what yeah okay so it's one one square down okay square down okay that's the cannon turrets and then we've got missile turrets so let's do are the rocket turrets so uh, we can do flak retractable, rocket retractable. Okay. So right there, have retractable. Or should we start doing the retractable stuff right here? Let's do, let's do here. Okay. And we want rocket, right? Okay. Excellent. We don't really have enough mats for the ammo for these, so I'm I'm probably not going to install them all right now. I can't I can't make them all anyway. So that is the right one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then we want. Maybe rocket at the back of the. Because we can put on 12 rocket ones too, but I wouldn't. I, I don't know. I don't know if I want them all rocket. Maybe. Maybe flak? 
I don't think so. I'm not sure. We will have to look at the statistics. But in the meantime, I'm going to put rocket ones in right here. <laughs> There. Yeah, I can guarantee we're into class six now. Oh, yeah. Level 25, class six. At least we'll be able to defend ourselves. But we're going to take the small mining vessel to go exploring after this and uh, and basically mine up the universe here to try and get more mats so that we can make ammunition for this thing because I don't think we have enough to make ammunition even. Requires a lot of a restroom. Okay. I took, put rocket ones up here. I think I put rocket ones. I think I put rocket ones here. Yeah, right beside it. Two of them right there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this would be a good opportune moment to uh, add some more RCS. Oh, let's see if we can make some more RCS. I need a couple more. I need a couple more, at least. Can we make our, a couple of more? Oh. Can we make two more RCS? One. Oh, let's put that in a box. Oh, it looks like we can do it. That'll help, because it's getting a little sluggish. Okay. So we'll do two of those. Grab that one right now, because we need it right now. Okay. Let's get this in. Put it right, uh, oh, right there. And then get this installed. All right there. Boom. Okay. Awesome. I'll have to put rocket launchers on it too, but it, in the meantime. Okay, so let's get these rocket turrets. Put the other uh, RCS in. And then we'll get it all painted up. Okay. Grab that. And get right there. Thank you very much. Add the 
other turret right there. So we've got the one rocket turret left. One rocket turret left. Hmm. Not really sure. I guess what we could do is. If, if that's always going to be down, except for when it's mining. I could put the rocket one immediately. Behind it. Right there. There, so now, if we, what do we got? We need our green in that. Okay. Get that all painted. Let's see how it looks. Oh, did you not take the, that one doesn't take, um, Yeah, it doesn't take it. That's fine. All right. Okay. Get the other side here. And then we'll call it an episode. Okay. Still got to put on the... Oh, hey, let's paint those white. They're... They're way too... Um, too much on the white to be painted green. All right. Uh, did we have some ones down here that we should paint white? Yeah, these two. There we go. That's uh, looking pretty sharp. Got our two down here. Get those painted up. Okay. Nice. Well, there you have it. The Camel Shack Evolve with some guns. With some guns. Not all the guns, but we still got to put all the sentry guns underneath it. Uh, we'll do that next episode. Uh, next episode, we'll probably have all the mats to finish off all the guns and get this thing a hundred percent built. So until then you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.